I am very excited to bring our next guest into the studio. We have the fabulous Tess Walcock. And if you could see her then you would be impressed to it. And this is always a time that I wish we were like a video streaming kind of capable show as well. We'll probably take a picture and we'll post it on our Instagrams. But Tess is from What Tess Warm, which is this amazing um, fashion page, which inspires me. And what I love about it, because I know Tess, is that she's always been such a well put together person. And this page has just exploded to 7,000 followers. Tess from What Tess Wore, Welcome to the show. Thanks, Nats. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. It's so good to have you. And look, you are a delight. You've got all the colours on. I do. Um, do. The greens, the pinks. I love this gold chain. I've gone for a a bit of a tonal look. Um, I'm wearing green with pink, a bit of a dash of lilac, some vintage Chanel, um, some beautiful pink heels. I think I'm really making Matariki a little bit special today. Oh, you absolutely (laughs) are. You are a shining star for sure. And I mean, I... I followed you um, and, you know, because I obviously personally know you as well, but then seeing your fashion page explode and seeing you come into your own with these wonderful outfits that you've put together was fantastic enough. And then I read your little bio and I think the phrase was dopamine dressing. Yes. And I was like... Holy heck, that's a there's great actually, thing. There's actually a science behind it. This isn't just a, just a saying. There's actually psychological research that shows, here I am putting on my psychology hat, um, that when... Oh, sorry. Um, that, that when you wear bright, colourful clothes, it actually the neurotransmitters in your brain produce more dopamine. Um, so whether it's a bright pink, a bright yellow, the, the, um, the dopamine in your brain makes you feel more joy. It sparks joy. Um, so for yourself, as the person wearing it and obviously for other people who look at you. So wearing colour is actually a really, really good thing for everybody. You have sparked joy in my life and I am just looking at you. I feel the surges of dopamine. Um, now, this is a new journey for you, what this Tess is, wore. How did it start? So um, last year in the three-month lockdown that we had, um, I'm, I'm a single mother and I was at home with my daughter sort of day in, day out. And as you know, I'm someone who always has loved to get dressed up. And I think after a couple of weeks of it, it was actually really starting to get to me. So I thought, why not? You know, I've got all these beautiful clothes. I keep buying more <laughs> the packages for arriving by the day. Why don't I start taking some photos? Um, it can be something my daughter and I, who at the time she was just four, uh, could do together. And so, so I did. So it literally started as that. Um, to start, my four-year-old actually took the first few photos, surprisingly. Then I invested in a tripod because, you know, we had a fair few tantrums. Um, and it just really started from there. And I really have built a community of, of other women from here in New Zealand, from Australia, and, and even globally who have become friends, who all just love fashion, love colourful fashion, love to, you know, wear things that make them feel empowered and really authentic in in who they are. And I think that's really part of of what the journey has been for me as well. I often felt when I was younger, I was always this colourful, bold person. And sometimes you feel a bit, you know, when you're younger, a bit embarrassed about that, you know, like, oh God, is everyone looking at me? Am I too over the top? And by starting this page, I actually embraced who I was, embraced the colour, embraced the glamour. And not only did I feel really great about it, the feedback I got from people was, this is great, you know, I've I've had a woman reach out to me uh, through my Instagram um, and people I know saying, you know, when I'm shopping now, I'm looking at the pink, you know, and I was a black, you know, black and neutrals girl. Um, so I love that it has done that. And, you know, it's just really uplifting, you know, all round. A hundred percent. And what I I love looking at your pictures because um, I think you help me think about things in a little bit more of a feminine edge because I like shapes and cuts. and um, But I, what I love is seeing this Full on pastel pink outfit, and it's so boss. Yeah, yeah. it's that marrying of the yes. energies, which I love, and I love seeing you own it. So I, I definitely, in my style, you know, I, there are lots of amazing, um, you know, New Zealand fashion bloggers, but I think a lot of the look is very kind of androgynous and quite cool girl. I'm yeah. not a cool girl at all. <laughs> I'm very much about high glamour, um, you know, incorporating, you know, elements of luxury and, and high fashion, but doing it in a really feminine and I'd say a very European way. You know, I look to European designers, a lot of Australian designers, um, and, and really like that kind of luxurious look, which, you know, isn't probably the 
the, the mainstream look here in New Zealand. But I mm. think we can all take a piece of that. And I was actually talking to um, your girl on reception earlier. She's like, what are you talking about? You look great. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shout out to her. She's amazing. Yeah, and, and I was just saying to her, you know, we can start with a little bit, whether it's, you know, a beautiful pair of bright pink shoes or a green green pair of shoes or, or a bag or, or a top with a bit of colour. You can start with one small piece and then slowly start to build it into your wardrobe. Mm, I love that. And I mean, even though it is luxury looking fashion, can we do this on a budget? You can. You absolutely can. Um, but then also, I, I heard your other guest earlier, we, we want to be sustainable as well. Yeah. And I think that's that's something that I'm very aware of. So for me, I'm someone who would, you know, rather buy a pair of vintage Chanel earrings that I wear all the time uh-huh. than buy some cheap and cheerful ones that A, probably break and B, aren't good for the environment. And I think the same with clothes. I think you really do get what you pay for. Um, and even though I love Zara, we all love Zara. Yeah. It's just fast fashion. So I I think, you know, it's being aware and buying um, pieces that you can wear again. You know, I always was a really uh, big on dresses, but th- there has to be something said about separates. You know, buying a beautiful top and skirt set that look like a dress when they're paired together, that gives you more options. You know, you can wear the skirt with different tops, the, the shirt with different pants, casual it down with some jeans. So I think it's really um, looking at looking at um, your wardrobe and, and choosing key pieces. It's that very Marie Kondo thing, you know, yeah. it needs to spark joy just don't buy something because you need something you're better to invest a little bit more in it um, and then it, it lasts it lasts you longer yeah fantastic and I mean a big thing now is that secondhand um, experience and looking at shops for um, pre-loved clothes and I was speaking to one of my colleagues I think it was earlier in the week and she had this fantastic suit it was kind of like 80s energy like with this tie and it was this beautiful like camel tone and I was like where did you get this she's like I found it at a secondhand store and it cost me like 20 bucks and, and that's the thing there are so many amazing vintage finds out there um, and so many um, you know if, if you do like them all sort of the higher end things as well. There are lots of um, beautiful pieces that you can even source here, you know, locally in New Zealand. Um, and there's lots of great international websites as well to, to buy vintage finds or even, you know, pop into your to your local um, thrift shop, you know, mm. your local, as the Salvos or Vinnie's in New Zealand, I always forget. <laughs> Salvos, yeah. I lived in Australia a while. I know, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, pop into your Salvos. I I, um, I think the, there's one either in Greylin or Ponsonby and I've, I've got friends that have been in there and found some incredible, incredible finds so yeah it's it's not just saying I only shop here it's it's really you know creating a wardrobe from lots of different places mm. um so I know in your little bio you said you had your your wee daughter taking photos for you at first and she got fired um <laughs> like your page is like just grown so quickly yes. what's what's next for you where do you want to take this vision because I just think I love your message about empowering self to be yourself. And I think in today's day, it's such a great message for everybody to have. Be you, right? We celebrate the diversity. What's next for What Tess War? Well, I'm juggling a lot of balls, but um, in terms of what Tess wore, um, I, I have bought the domain name to create a fashion website, oh. but it hasn't really gone much further than that yet. So that that really is is key. Um, and I am going to France in a couple of weeks. What? So, yes. International travel? International travel. Um, I've been very fortunate, um, especially with, um, I've got a brand ambassadorship with a, a New Zealand brand, um, but I've got quite a lot of Australian brands that I um, am working with to do collaboration. Um, so I've got a lot of, of work that I'm doing over in France. I'm doing uh, photo shoots in Paris with the Eiffel Tower, going to Saint Tropez, um, and so this and this is all quite strategic as well because when yeah. you produce this beautiful content, you know, with great clothes and these amazing settings, it actually increases your engagement, increases your following. So it, it's all it all kind of ties in together. So my goal is to is to to go as far as I can with this. You know, I'd love mm. to maybe next year head over to, to New York when New York Fashion Week on I've obviously you know worked it from a from a PR yeah. point before so um you know to, to to look at it from this way and to yeah is is, is where I'm looking to go because am I right you don't have like 
I mean, do you, like a stylist qualification? This is no. just come from life. Wow. No, I'm not a stylist at all. I'm a journalist. Wow. A journalist wow. turned publicist. No, not, not, not at all. Wow. No. So this is just my love of fashion. And as you know, it's something anyone who knows me knows I've been like this my whole life. Yes, yeah, certainly um, um, you yeah. were inspiring to me when I came <laughs> straight from fitness, straight into me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try and wear this now, like out of tights and into heels. So, but it was empowering. It You're is. right. It really is empowering, you know. Mm. And I think that's for men and for women. It's, mm. it's for anyone, you know. If you take the time to to put something on that makes you feel that 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 boss, you know, that, that <laughs> empowered energy. Boss. 